Normally, when I would start creating a level for No Heroes here, I would think of the roles. The first one would be artillery, where the cannons would be and which type of enemies would come. So, for example, when I would choose a cannon, I would see, oh, is this cannon going to hit on melee range or is it going to reach like further distance and how is going to be the distribution of the cannons. Later on in the game, I would invert cannons, so it would make a uh, messy for the players, would think this cannon would reach short distance, but then would shoot far, far away. So the idea is the cannon placement is to focus on the artillery process and it would define which enemies would appear. After the artillery, I would think of the production process. So I would think of which is going to be the hardest production, the cannonball, the gunpowder, or the special munition. For all levels, I would play like, oh, this one I would make like cannonball really harder to make. Depending of like this, I would choose different types of enemies. One of the hardest parts for making levels for No Heroes here is the size limitation because there's tons of information for the players to be in one single screen and I always had to use a specific uh, size for outside there was a minimum of three quadrants I also had problems with like elements inside the castles like if I put everything too close to each other it's so easy to craft or get messy with a lot of objects I kind of feel happy that I was able to come with 54 different levels and in the beginning I, I wouldn't think it was going to be possible. Another important element for each castle was the enemies. It was really important for how the castle is going to work and also for the game progression. And the way we would introduce the enemies throughout the game would define the difficult progression. So it was really important like when each enemy was going to appear and the amount of each type of enemy in a castle. Yeah.